Welcome back to Road Setting. Ben and Lauren here. This week we made our way down to Rock Springs, Wyoming. We're putting new tires on our fifth wheel trailer before we head out to our next season. We've had these Carlisle tires for three years now, almost three years to the month. We bought them actually here in Rock Springs, Wyoming back in the fall of 2018. Now we're back here. This tire company was a great company three years ago. We wanted to support them and we weren't too far away just being up there in the Grand Teton National Park. Now we've only ran these Carlisle tires for three years and probably hear about it. About five years of life, five years of life. But these Carlisle tires have gone from Wyoming to California to Rhode Island, Rhode Island to Utah, Utah back to Rhode Island, and then we got dropped right back in Utah. So we turned around, went back to Utah, went to California, South Dakota, Pennsylvania, Rhode Island, and now we're back here in Wyoming in the fall of 2021. So quite a bit of miles on there. And for those of you who need a unit of measure, Lauren will put that right here on the screen. There's that unit of measure. So you have something accurate, not just me saying Wyoming and California, California to Rhode Island, Rhode Island to Utah, Utah to Rhode Island, Rhode Island back to Utah, Utah to California, California to South Dakota, South Dakota to Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania to Rhode Island, Rhode Island back here to Wyoming. Did I miss, a, did I miss anything, Lauren? I don't think so. These tires have held up very well. We do have an alignment issue on our fifth wheel. It's minute, I have not fixed it because it hasn't gotten any worse. So I do have one tire that wears and I rotate through all four. But still, that's a lot of life for as much as we use them. These tires have lived through the desert of southern Utah, 100 plus degrees, sun beating down on them, and then in wintertime, frigid cold temperatures in New England and in California. And, and I can't say that we cover our tires all the time, because we don't. A lot of times we don't put those tire covers on just because we're moving so much. The amount of life I got out of them, I'm very happy with. The time that we had with them was good, three years. Unfortunately, some of those sidewalls were showing signs of cracking. I was a little surprised to see that. I really thought I was gonna go through the tread first just because of the alignment issue that I have. I think I could have got more life out of these tires had the alignment been perfect. But at the same time, the cracking on the sidewalls, I don't want to live with that too much. But again, we didn't cover these tires as much as we probably could have. So we could have probably got a little bit more life out of them. Maybe another year, maybe another two years out of them had we covered them and took care of them. But we use our RV a lot. And like I said, in all those different conditions, dirt roads, highway, desert, winter. So uh, we're a bit brutal on tires. In fact, our truck tires are in need of replacement and they're also three years old. Again, we're not using any type of commercial tire here. So these are regular tires and we may use them like we are in a commercial application or we use them more often than your weekend warrior. For those of you who are full timing, I'm curious on how long your tires last you. My experience has been about three years and these Carlisle tires were the fifth tire I've ever ran. We just installed these National Road Max tires. With supply and demand, we couldn't get our hands on the Carlisle tires in a timely manner. So any good new rubber tire is better than an older brittle tire. So we're gonna go with these, we're gonna try these. Now the most important thing when you're looking at any tire is the weight rating. And you're not just looking at E or D or that load range. You're looking at the weight for that specific tire. Now these are a little bit less than the Carlisle tires we were running, but we're still within the weight ratings. So I'm excited about that. I'm curious on why they're lower. These Carlisles, even though they've only lasted us three years, super impressed with them. I love the tread design. I like how it handles on the highway and I've had hardly any issues with them off-road. Not, not that we do any major off-roading, but the off-roading we do, they have held their ground well. 
All in all, these Carlisle tires, I will run them again. I'm bummed that I'm not running them now, but I get to try out a new tire, so I'm excited about that. These Carlisle tires are the fifth tire I've ran. I ran Tomax, Power King, Hercules ST2 tires. There's another one. There's another one. And there was another brand, I don't remember the name, and then the Carlisles. So far, the Carlisles, I think, have outperformed all those other tires that I've had. I've never actually bought trailer tires the same brand over and over again. Every time I get trailer tires, it seems to be a different brand. So now we're going to get to try out these National Road Max tires. They are the same size as the Carlisles. We're going to see how they do. So, I'd like to thank this tire shop here in Rock Springs, Wyoming. Setting us up. We got to get back to the Grand Tetons. We got to work tomorrow. And until next time, remember to seek, learn, experience, and grow. And join our caravan by clicking that subscribe button and following us on our webpage, roadsteading.com.